Imagine turning your flat logo into a 3D animation right inside Adobe After Effects without a single plugin. Sounds crazy, right? Today I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. So let's jump into Adobe After Effects. To import a logo, double click in the project panel or press Ctrl plus I. Select the vector file you wanna import and click import. Make sure import kind set to composition not footage and set footage dimensions to layer size. Then hit ok to confirm. Now double click the logo composition to open it in the timeline. Here we have the after framing logo. In the timeline you can see two layers. Layer 1 is the background of the logo and layer 2 is the letter A. Animating directly on illustrator layers is not very flexible. So we will need to convert them into shape layers. To do this first select like both layers in the timeline then right click on either one. Go to create and choose create shapes from vector layer. Instantly you see two shape layers appear in the timeline. Giving you full control over paths, fields, strokes and other properties for detailed animation work. From here we will continue working with the shape layers which means we can go ahead and delete the illustrator layers from the timeline. By the way if you would like to access this project file or others you can join my patreon. Link in the video description. Before we start animating, let's quickly adjust the composition settings. Go to composition settings and set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Change the frame rate to 30 fps and set duration to 5 or 10 seconds, whichever you prefer. Next, go to the 3D renderer options. Change the renderer from classic 3D to either advanced 3D or cinema 4D. Once that is done, click OK to confirm the updated settings. To give the logo a 3D look, type extrusion depth into the search bar. If you don't see it, that means 3D layers are not enabled yet. To fix this, go back to the layers and click the 3D layer switch, the little cube icon, for each layer to enable 3D mode. Now search for extrusion depth again in the timeline. You find it under geometry options. Increase the extrusion depth value to 90 for both shape layers. At first you won't notice much change. To view the 3D look, select both shape layers and rotate them using the red, green and blue rotation controls. This will let you see the depth of the 3D logo. Next let's adjust the anchor point. Go to the 3D view pop-up and choose stop. Then from toolbar at the top select the anchor point tool. Use the blue arrow to drag the anchor point slightly upward and center it on the logo. That completes the anchor point adjustments. Finally go back to the 3D view pop-up and switch back to the active camera. Now let's create a camera. Go to layer, new, camera. In the camera settings pop-up window set the type 2 to note camera for more flexibility. Keep the film size at 36mm which works well. Then click ok to confirm. Now select the orbit tool. This lets you rotate the camera around a selected point or layer in 3D space. Instead of moving the layer itself, we are adjusting the camera's perspective which creates a dynamic 3D depth of the logo. In the 3D view, you notice the letter A is not extruded enough. To fix that, increase the extrusion depth from 90 to around 150. Now you notice that A is extruded on the back side. To push it forward, press V to switch back to the selection tool. Then use the blue arrow to drag the A slightly forward so it aligns perfectly with the rest of the logo. Finally, select the orbit tool again and rotate the camera around in 3D space to fully observe the logo's depth. Now let's bring the logo to life by adding some keyframes. Start by expanding the camera layer then open transform. At the very first frame of the timeline, set keyframes for all the transform properties. Next slightly rotate the 3D logo to set the initial movement. Drag the time indicator to around 2 seconds mark. Then use the orbit tool to rotate the logo again. Continue moving the time indicator forward making small adjustments to the logo's rotation, position and other properties. This creates the smooth movement and builds the animation. You can also add a light layer to create highlights and shadows, which helps give the logo more depth and realism. To make the animation smoother, select all keyframes in the timeline and press F9 to apply easy ease. And that's it, the basic of creating a 3D logo animation in Adobe After Effects using the new 3D features. In future, we'll drive even deeper into 3D design and animation. If you'd like to download this project file or access more resources, you can join my Patreon, link in the video description. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.